So the question today is if these magical needles can help me finish the project that I've been working on for months. Hey guys, thank you so much for being here. My name is Felicia from Sweet Georgia and this is Taking Back Friday. This is a moment every week where we come and we talk about something to do with the fiber arts, something to do with craft and color. Today we're gonna talk about catching up on knitting all the things that I have not been knitting. You guys have seen <laughs> that I was working on a colorwork cardigan, a knitted colorwork cardigan from last fall. And it was supposed to be done last autumn. And then I got stuck. I did some things you'll see. So yeah, I've been feeling very unmotivated about this particular project just because I feel like I've been stuck for a long time. And so I'll show you kind of where it's at right now. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> so it's basically almost done. So there we have the whole, s we have a whole sweater. Ta -da! We have sleeves, one sleeve, we have two sleeves. We are basically done. All I have to do is pick up and knit around this whole section to make the collar and then I'm done. But I have been holding off just because, oh, I have other things that I could do. I could wind a warp, I could, start another project. You can see the part where I surged my edges. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. It's not going to fall apart. It's just kind of ugly on the inside, but you know, for the most part, uh, I did the other side. Okay. I think the thing that's <laughs> demotivating me is having to weave in all of these ends and to do all that. The, a lot of finishing work. I'm not fond of finishing. I'm fond of knitting. I'm not fond of finishing. But in any case, what I need to do is just pick up and knit the collar and the the, the neck band and all of this kind of stuff. And then this will be finished and then I can wear it and stay warm this winter. <laughs> the one thing that's kind of got me a little bit motivated to get going is actually Teresa's tempting me with these lovely needles here. So uh, these are signature needles. These are like the creme de la creme of knitting needles. And so I, had signature needles like from a long, 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 long time ago. I sort of collected just a few of the sizes that I thought were really, really the kind of sizes that I used for everything. So I used signature needles for knitting all my lace, all my sweaters, and I just had maybe like four sets or four, they, they used to be fixed length circulars. And so I would just have uh, long lengths and I would knit everything sort of um, with magic loop technique and just with a big long circular needle. And I would just invest in a few sizes that I really, really liked that I would use for everything. And then for the sake of convenience and being able to do a whole bunch of different things, I switched to using Chiagu needles for the past several years. I've been using Chiagu interchangeables. I was never really sold on the idea of interchangeables. I was like, because the interchangeables that I'd had previously were always untwisting and it was causing all sorts of problems of, you know, stitches falling off the cord and things. But the Chiaga needles have since been fantastic and I've never had any problem with the interchangeable side of things. What I wanted to do was I wanted to give the signature interchangeables a bit of a try. These you can see, they come like this and these are just the needle tips. So the needle tips that I need in order to finish this particular sweater is 3.75 millimeters or five US size five. So one of the cool things about signature needles that I really enjoy is the fact that they're all color coded. So this size will be like blue, another size will be purple, there's green, there's gold, there's red. And so depending on what size you have, then you can kind of like very quickly visually see, oh, that that's where my 3.5 millimeter needles are because they're X color. Now signature needles, the cool thing about them, the reason why I really like them to start with was because of the tips. The tips are super, super nice and pointy. They, you can just direct where they're going to go. It's just, it's not blunt. Uh, they're called stiletto <laughs> tips. So this part of the needle is really, really nice to work with. Um, the other thing is that they are super smooth. These they're, not slippery, but they're slidey. Does that make sense? 
So now these are interchangeables. Um, they come in a number of different lengths. So these tips happen to be the five inch length tips, but they also come in four inches. They can come in six inches. So you can sort of customize how you want your needles to be. It feels very individual. Like you can make these your own. So if you prefer working with a shorter needle tip, then you can get that combination. If you prefer working with a longer needle tip, you can do that. This is kind of in the middle. So stiletto tips, five inches long. And so I've chosen to use the cable that's 32 inches around and 32 inches. Like if I were to knit the body of a sweater, that feels kind of like the right size to be using. Um, if I need to knit sleeves, then I would just do magic loop and just use that. There seems to be a sufficient amount of um, cable length in order to do magic loop when you're using 32 inches. And then these would just screw on. And it's really interesting because the way that they turn on, there's nothing um, like the Chiagu needles. They have a little uh, hole where you tighten them. And these ones, there's no, there's no hole to tighten anything, but they tighten up really, really nice. And there's no twisting of the cord. So when I take this cord and I spin this on, this little silver bit, which is the join, this turns really, really well. And so I don't have to twist the cable to make it turn on. I just turn this little silver piece and the whole thing screws together and there's no, it's just perfectly smooth here. There's doesn't feel like there's a catch at all. It's perfectly smooth. It seems really, really nice and tight. And so these needles are ready to go. Gosh, they feel good. Okay. So you guys are going to do this with me. Okay. Today <laughs> we are going to pick up the collar with these needles today. Okay. So I'm just looking at my uh, pattern instructions and I basically just need to pick up 78 stitches along the front, right, pick up some stitches on the back, 78 down the front left and then work knit one p1 ribbing <laughs> for 12 rows and then i should be done so let's do this this is my front right i have to pick up 70 stitches 78 stitches across this and then i have to pick up a certain number of stitches across the back neck and then another 78 on the other side let's see okay i am measuring if I need 78 across the entire thing, that means if I divide this in half, then I need probably about 40 stitches on each of these sides. And then if I divide this again by half, then I'm gonna need 20 stitches from here to here. And then if I divide this again from here to here, I'm going to need about 10 stitches. So this is kind of like my marker to check to see if I'm doing the right rate of picking up. So I have five, so I have to get five off of this next section here. Okay, so as you can see, these stitches get picked up relatively far away from each other. They're not uh, close to each other at all. So I think that right here, there was a little bit, they were too tight. So I'm gonna take those apart and uh, spread them out a little bit more. Okay, so that is basically the first half of the first side of this sweater. And I'm picking up with this needle. And so far, I'm just experiencing that like, as I'm trying to push these uh, stitches back and forth on the needle, right here at the join, I don't feel like there's a lot of resistance here. It's actually working out pretty nice. So that's working pretty well. And so what I'm gonna do is I am gonna continue on. I'm gonna finish picking up all the stitches around here. I'm gonna knit this and I'm gonna show you it finished on this video <laughs> so that it will be done and I'll have something to wear. Hey guys, so it's day two, I'm back here working on my sweater. I have managed to pick up all the way around for the collar. And what I'm doing right now is you can see I'm just knitting my ribbing. So this is one side, this is the other side, this is the neck area, and I'm just knitting my one by one ribbing all the way around and then I'm going to cast off and I will be done. But you can see I am using the 32 inch length circular part of the needle and uh, it is working out perfectly well. I mean, it's not too much. I feel like if I was using a 24 inch uh, needle cable, it would not be long enough in order to do all of this. So this makes it around 
very, very nicely and very easily. Um, I am enjoying working with these needles. I was knitting on this last night and it was probably about close to midnight and I was just like, I just want to keep going because it feels really nice. So this project has sort of languished in a knitting basket for months now because I was just not feeling ready to pick it up and use it. And uh, I, I actually knit a sweater in between uh, because I was like, I just need to get something done. I want to knit something. I want to feel something. Um, and now I've been sort of motivated to return to this because I don't want to start another sweater without having this completed. I really was doing really well with this whole idea of uh, one project at a time and sort of like uh, being a monogamous knitter and just just focusing on one thing at a time. I was doing really good with that <laughs> until, until I got distracted by so many different patterns. And so now, in order to move on to the next project, I really feel like I want to finish this one before I move on with anything else. And so this is part of the reason why I'm feeling so, um, so motivated to get this done. Also, I think the novelty of using uh, these needles and uh, trying something new, trying something a little bit different than what I usually use, I feel like is really um, motivating. It really makes me wanna sit down and do a little bit of knitting. So the needle size I'm using right now is 3.75 millimeters. It's a US size five. And so <laughs> I want to start my next sweater project. And my next sweater project, I've actually already wound the yarn for it. It's this color, it's the blue canoe color. Um, and this yarn is the BFL and Silk Fine. And so this is the next sweater that I want to work on, but I can't begin this until I finish this. So actually tell me, if you think that this is a good color for me because I have been going back and forth with this about should I do it should I not do it should I do it should I make it color work should I make it lace yoke what should I do with this but I want a sweater out of this because it's just super super cozy the yarn that I'm using here in this sweater this one happens to be uh, the pattern is made for DK so this is the superwash DK yarn in the mink colorway oh it's the same color I'm wearing right now <laughs> this color is is the mink colorway as well uh, this one happens to be worsted, superwash worsted. This one happens to be superwash DK. And um, all of these sweater weight yarns are actually currently on sale for Sweet Georgia. But yeah, we do a sweater weight yarn sale typically in the middle of November. Yeah, so you will be able to, from now until November 16th, get quite a good deal off of any of the superwash worsted yarns, superwash DK yarns, any of the DK weight yarns, all of that kind of stuff is currently available and on sale. It's our pre-holiday sale. We make our holiday sale on the earlier side, so that way we kind of avoid a lot of the shipping uh, situations. We want to make sure that you get them in time if you're ordering them for the holidays and things like that. So that's why we push our sale a little bit earlier. So I appreciate you guys keeping me company while I knit the ribbing on this collar. And if you are interested in these needles, uh, the signature needles, I would encourage you to check them out. They are just nice and super smooth and just solid to work with. They're just beautiful, beautifully made pair of knitting needles. And so very often it makes sense to invest in the pair that you use most frequently. So if you are always making shawls with 3.5 millimeters, or you're always making sweaters with 4.5 millimeters or something like that, then just invest in one or two pairs that you would use the most often. And I feel like that's a good place to, to, to um, invest in, is just to invest in really good, solid tools. Sometimes you don't need everything that an interchangeable set provides. Like you don't necessarily need to use all the different sizes, but if you're making uh, the same kinds of things over and over again, using the same weights of yarn over and over again, then it might help to have just a really good, solid pair of tools. So one thing that you may or may not realize about these particular needles is that they are different from any other interchangeables that you may or may not be familiar with. In a lot of cases with other interchangeables, um, you can have a whole bunch of needle tips and then you have uh, one size of cord, like maybe the length of the cord is different, but one connector for the cord will connect to multiple sizes of needle shafts. With these needles, it's a little bit different. So here I have the US size five or 3.75 needle tip, but in order to connect to the cable, it needs this connector, which is also US size five, 3.75 millimeter, because this silvery metal part and the blue metal part, they have to be the same size. And so 
what is available for the signature needles is that the cables are the same size as the needle tips. So you have to buy those two together. So the place where you can customize and change how these needles work is basically how long the cable needle is. So you might get like a 24 inch cable, but it has this connector for US size five, or you get a 32 inch long cable, but it again has its US size five connector in order to connect to this tip. So that's where uh, you can't buy just like two cables and then a whole bunch of different needle tips and then mix and match that they, they don't really work that way. Okay, I feel like it's been an hour and I'm still here, but <laughs> I am casting off right now. I am binding off. So I am binding off right now. I'm binding off the ribbing and in order to bind it off and make it super, super stretchy, I'm doing that elastic bind off. We've done a tutorial about this before, but basically what I'm doing is I'm just knitting the next stitch in pattern. So I'm doing uh, K1P1 ribbing. And so what I'll do next is I'll take the left needle tip and go into both of those stitches and then knit the two of them together. Uh, and then the next thing I'll have to do is I'll do my purl, put that on my right needle, and then again, knitting sort of those two together, and so on and so forth. So rather than, uh, so rather than lifting the, the first stitch over the second stitch, I knit the two of them together. And that is what helps to make a much more stretchy bind off because I know that I'm going to want some flex in this, but I don't want it to be loose and floppy, uh, but I don't want it to have a weird edge where it's super tight or anything like that. So this is how I bind off. So again, how I do this super stretchy bind off is I take my right needle tip. I'm going to go into this next stitch. This is K1 P1 ribbing. So I'm doing a knit and then I take my left needle tip and I put it back into those two stitches and I knit those two together. And then because I'm doing K1P1 ribbing, I'm going to change my yarn to the front, do my purl, move it to the back, and then I'm gonna knit these two together. And so on. There you go. There's your super stretchy bind off. Looking really good. I am almost done. Three, two, one. Ta da! <laughs> and we're done! Oh, wait, why are we still connected? Oh, yeah, we're done! <laughs> it is off the needles! Okay, so there you have it. The sweater is finished. So the sweater is finished. I have to do a little bit of tidying up work, obviously. I have to sew in all my ends here. I've got ends here. I've got obviously like lots and lots of ends in here that I have to deal with. So many, so many, so many ends. But oh my gosh, it fits. <laughs> it still fits. I can't believe I finished it. <laughs> And if it's all because of these needles, that is perfectly fine with me. This kind of pushed me over, it's kind of like tipped me over and got me going so that I could finally finish this sweater. And so what I wanna do is I'm gonna take these needles and I'm gonna make my next sweater with these needles as well. I just feel like they're gonna keep me going for some time now. Okay, so that is basically it for today. Go check out these needles, the signature needles. We have them for a very limited time, probably until the beginning of December. We have them for a very limited time on the Sweet Georgia site. So you can go check out the signature needles. And then while you're there, before November 16th, do check out the sweater yarn sale that's on right now as well. And you can look for worsted yarn, you can look for DK yarn, anything that will help you make a sweater, that's gonna be available there. 
So that is basically it for today. Thank you so much for being here with me as I finished this sweater. Thank you for spending the time with me. If you like this episode, please do hit the like button. And if you would like to see more content like this, please do hit subscribe. We come here every Friday and we talk about something to do with color and craft. Next week, I'm gonna talk about crochet. <laughs> so come back for that. And that's basically it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you in the next one. All right, bye for now.